Hey friends, happy Thursday. It's Friday Eve. How excited are we? Look at this, ready, ready? My tweet is set up. I'm totally running like six minutes late, but at least I got my tweet going. How are we? I hope everybody's good. When you pop in, go ahead and make sure and say hi. Tell me where you're from. My camera's a little short tonight. Let's go ahead and lift it up a touch. <clears throat> Tell me where you're from. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me if it's your first time here or if you're a regular. Let's see if that helps. <clears throat> there we go. Now you can see my whole head. Yay. Let's pull up our comments on my phone so we can actually chat. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Carrie. How are you, ladies? There we go. Let's see. There we are, there we are. All right, everybody excited to make tacos tonight? We're gonna do black bean soup. Summer's a regular, I know you, Summer. Hi, Katie, hi, Luann, hi, Amanda. Thank you, guys. It's kind of driving me nuts, though, because I always pull it back, and it's, oh, I can't pull it back there, I'm not allowed, but um, yeah, so sorry, it's gonna be hair tacos tonight, hair tacos tonight. Um, anyway, so hi, 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 hi. As you pop on, I'd love it if you share to your wall so you can have easy access to the recipes and also so um, so folks know that you're watching. All right, Kelly's running a little bit late, but no big deal. We can get this going on our own. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what did you guys have for dinner tonight? What are you having for dinner tonight? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Erica. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Cheryl. Everyone keeps saying they're missing my cooking shows, but we're, we've still been going on. <laughs> we haven't quit, I promise. Okay, so let's pull this up here and do our regularly scheduled maintenance real quick. Hey, Rachel. Harry Tacos. <laughs> hey, Angela. Yeah, so we're going to make black bean soup and tacos for our crown. I'm going to show you how I make tacos for my big old family. Um, yeah, so... Sorry, I can't pull it back tonight. It's just not gonna happen. Soup is great for the cold weather. I wish we were getting cold weather. We had cold weather for about four minutes and that was it. <laughs> okay, where's our video? There we are. Let's pin this to the top. So exciting. Big Mac pizza, is that a thing? Birthday weekend coming up. Yay, Sherry, happy birthday. Hi, Sienna. Hi, Amanda. Amanda made the barbecue chicken pizza, yay. Awesome, awesome. My son woke me up on Wednesday morning and was like, we had pizza for breakfast, mom, it was good. <laughs> so, taco night is always a good night. Amen to that. I totally agree. Okay, here we go. So, we're gonna... And those of you who are new here, unfortunately, this is just part of the drill. It takes a minute to get things going. We gotta wait for folks to come on. Hi, Penny. Hi, Tina. Loose meat sandwiches. Yum. Hey, Enrique. My uh, brother-in-law's on. Everyone say hi. Hi, Enrique. Pancakes and eggs. Yummy. All right. Um, yes, I want to just go. Okay, let's do these quick shares. Share to a page. I always wonder, do you cook these meals just for the video, or are they prepped meals for later? Well, I cook them just for the video, but we do try to eat them all. I don't, you know, I don't want to waste food. But yeah, I mean, they're cooked for the videos. I plan, I don't plan the videos around what we want to eat. I plan what we eat around the videos, if that makes sense. Okay. Hi, Christina. Kept missing our shows. Oh, because you're on the road. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Bourbon chicken. Yum. I love bourbon chicken. Yum, 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 yum. All right, and remember, when you share to your wall, that means easy access to the recipes for later. It helps Facebook know that you're enjoying the show, and it invites your friends to join us as well. So I always appreciate that. Almost done on my end. I know there's a lot of maintenance, but it happens. It's one of those things. Kelly will be with us soon enough. We had spaghetti. Tracy likes my hair. Thank you. Amy says we had breakfast for dinner. Yum. Melinda says hi. Louane had pork chops, potatoes, and carrots. Yum. Nice and classic. Good, good. Good stuff. Oh my god, I so missed your cooking show this last week because my computer went down. I may not like black beans. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm going to tell you, my son, my 10-year-old, whined when he saw this soup. I don't like beans. I don't eat beans. Beans are gross, mom. And I was like, just taste it because it doesn't, this does not taste like 
eating black beans. I mean, it's black beans, but it's so good. And it's so crazy easy. This is a really good recipe to have on hand because you can literally um, keep everything in it. You don't have to, like all of it's in the pantry. You don't have to have anything fresh. Um, and it's still, will it stay like that or spring back to normal after set time? It'll, it'll go back to normal. After I wash it, it'll look a lot more normal. It's, it, she flat ironed it. Um, it'll be less frizzy than it was, but it, it'll be basically normal. Um, sorry, almost done here. I know this part's boring. Cheeseburgers in paradise. <laughs> That's what Cheryl had. All right, Cajun chicken Alfredo for Jessica. Yum! You guys need to invite me over to eat. Jesse, hi Sasha, hi Dana, tamales, yum. Cindy, what did I do to my hair? I got a keratin treatment on it, so it'll be less frizzy. But she also flat ironed it to, so that's why it's super straight right now. It won't be as straight later. It'll be straighter, but not like this straight. I had a lunch date with my son um, this afternoon, and we had five guys. But I wasn't feeling great, so I didn't eat five guys. But he enjoyed it. Pulled pork sandwiches. Woohoo! Hi, Jazzy. Okay. Almost done, I promise, I promise, I promise. <clears throat> Let me just grab this link, and then we'll go. I haven't fully decided what to have for dinner, but it's going to have sausage, and I love sausage. Spicy or mild? What are you going to do? Spicy or mild? Let us know. Okay. Okay, it used to take me like 15 minutes to do all this. Uh, but it's saying that we've been on six. And look at that. See, we're getting faster. Super exciting. Super exciting. Okay, so fair warning. I'm going to probably touch my hair this episode. It's going to happen. So if you're not into hair tacos, like, peace out. No big deal. Um, but this is for my family. It's fine. I grew them inside of me. They're going to live, even if they're, you know, randomly falls a hair. Which, um, P.S., I've literally never gotten a complaint of a hair in my food, um, ever. So I guess there's a first time for everything. But I'm not, I'm just not that concerned. So, hair is not going back today. Anyway, my sausage. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then we'll get started. Tell me what you guys are drinking. What are you drinking? I've got my um, seltzer water all ready to go. Okay, we're gonna start with the soup. Actually, let me turn the oven on. We're gonna put the oven on three, 350, 375. I love you too, Heather. Go ahead and put the oven on. It doesn't have to be exact. 350, 375. Either one works. We're just going to be warming the tacos. Everything's cooked. We're going to make chicken tacos tonight. You can do any um, flavor, any protein you want. Chicken, beef, shrimp, tofu, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Valencia is drinking air. Girl, that's going to give you gas. You're going to be up all night. Um... <laughs> Girl, you cooking for your family? Yes, thank you. Cooking for my family. I think you need a little hair. It's just it's just extra roughage, right? No big deal. Plain water, plain water. All right. Orange vanilla seltzer. That sounds yummy. I've never seen that before. Hey, Chelsea. Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, I used to love Diet Mountain Dew. I haven't had soda in over two years. How crazy is that? Okay, so we're going to do chicken tacos. And we're going to do black bean soup. We're going to start with the black bean soup. And while it's simmering, then we'll, we'll put the tacos together. We're going to use, um, so two, two weeks ago, was it two weeks ago, I think? We did our big meal prep show where we did the um, hard-boiled eggs. We did the chicken. We did the ground beef. And what else? And the pork chops. So we've got some of the chicken pulled out of the freezer. Um, I'm a hot mom. Thanks, doll. Um... We're gonna, we pulled, I pulled some of the chicken out of the freezer and it's defrosting over here. Um, we're gonna use that. So see, we don't have to make our protein. We're gonna heat it up with a little bit of taco seasoning. Um, 
and then throw it all together. I tried the LaCroix for the first time. I love it. It's so good, isn't it? I love it. Love it. Love it. Amy made beef stew. I don't like the berry ones as much. I still like them, but they remind me a little bit of um, medicine. Speaking of Pepsi, somebody just wrote Pepsi. Hi, Mom. Three years without soda for me in February. Good job, Mom. Woo. Um, what was I saying? Oh, did you see my snap, you guys? Clear Pepsi is back. What is that? What is that about? My son saw it. He's like, ooh, I can trick you, Mom. I can buy this, and you'll think I'm drinking water. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab a pot out real quick to make our soup. I'm going to make a double batch of it. The recipe on the website makes a pretty small batch. Citrus lime salmon. That sounds amazing. All right, so we're going to make a double batch because it went really fast in my house. Crystal Pepsi is making a comeback. Yeah, it, I, it was at Walmart today. I totally saw it there. He's a smart kid. He's a stinker is what he is. Okay, so I'm going to read the recipe like we always do. There's no recipe for the chicken tacos. It's just prepping chicken tacos. Um, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it together. And you're going to see my method for doing a bunch at once. So, um, okay. One can of Rattel, one can of black beans, uh, not drained, two cups of chicken or vegetable stock. If you want to make it vegetarian, just do vegetable stock. Um, I like chicken stock because we're, we're, we're meat eaters. Rawr. Um, a quarter teaspoon garlic powder, quarter teaspoon onion powder, eighth a teaspoon of cumin, and salt and pepper. That's it, you guys. And it is so freaking good. And I like to serve it with a little bit of cheese and um, like some, some chives or something on top. Super, super yummy. Oh, Valencia, my herbs were so far gone. I could not re resurrect them. Jamie likes uh, coconut LaCroix, which I have to be honest. I used to love it, and I'm going to ruin this for you. I'm sorry, Jamie. Hopefully not, but... Um, Somebody pointed out once that it smells like suntan lotion, and now I can't drink it. <laughs> okay, so we've got our, we're doubling the recipe, so we're going to do two cans of Rattel. We're going to do, and you can use the generic stuff. It doesn't have to be name brand Rattel. Um, we're going to do two cans of black beans. Hey, girl. Hey, Kristen. How are you? Thanks, Kelly. Oh, and yes, I am wearing leggings. Of course I am polka dots because you know how I feel about polka dots. Polka dots are my jam. Kelly, if Kelly's on here yet, can you go ahead? I haven't decided if we're going to do leggings tonight. If we do, it'll, I was going to say it'll be in the office, but we're already set up out here, so maybe it'll be out here. Um, I don't know. Kelly, will you give them the link though? If you're on, if you're not on, then I'm just talking to myself. Okay. And then we've got granulated garlic, which is just garlic powder. Uh, onion powder and cumin. I heard a diet is not good for you. Yeah, pretty sure it's not. Kristen's on the mend. Baja joined, not joking. Well, I'm glad you're not joking. Okay. Oh, I forgot my earrings tonight. See, this is what happens when I can't pull my hair back. I can't see that I'm not wearing earrings and things go missing. Terrible. Hi, Dana. Thank you for sharing. My leggings are cute. Thank you. Okay. So this recipe is stupid easy. Okay, we've got my, look at this, look at this. I'm on my game tonight. We've got homemade stock. This is actually turkey stock. Disgusting drinks, water and coffee on my go-to. All right. Um, I'm a good water and coffee person. Although right now I am not drinking coffee because I totally screwed up my stomach by having way too much Advil. <sighs> it's a bad, bad thing. Okay. So did I tell you about my gal pal, Kelsey, that started working for me? She's amazing. She's amazing. She totally cleaned out my kitchen, but um, I don't know where everything is now. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. There's Kelly. Kelly's here. Yay. Kelly, will you do us a favor and share the um, LuLaRoe link in the comments for... I know, Karen. I can't even out, out earrings. What is that about? Oops, bacon, I'm sorry. Why are you ever sorry about bacon? All right, so we've got one can of black beans. Again, we are doubling, I'm doubling the recipe. Kelsey is amazing. Kelsey is like a whirling dervish. I don't know what a whirling dervish is, but it sounds like something that she is. It's crazy. Between Kelsey and Kelly and um, Brookman, I got a good 
good team going, you guys. I got a good team going. All right. Oh, yeah, this is just turkey stock. That's what I was starting to say. I'm on my game. Look, I even remembered to defrost the turkey stock. Amazing. Never apologize for bacon. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, I just... Why did I do that? Come back here, cans. Come back here. Hey, Tracy. Don't be sorry for being late. We're making black bean soup and chicken tacos. All right, so that was two cans of black beans. Again, I am doubling the recipe. Um, the recipe normally feeds two dinner size bowls or um, or four like appetizer or side dish bowls. I'm like a business mogul. I'm not a business mogul. I think you have to have like a team of 10 or so before you're a business mogul. I don't know. <laughs> Sandy says, I wish I had help. Yeah, help is good. Okay, so we're going to do two cans worth of... Oops, still a little bit frozen. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Look at this. That's poor, poor, poor showmanship, April. Okay. I made the chicken and bacon barbecue pizza on Holy Cross. Yay, Anne-Marie. I'm so glad your family loved it. So we're going to do one. And two. Don't worry, I have more. I'm prepared. I am prepared. Do I feel like I live in my kitchen? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I like mine with lettuce and tomato. Pines, 57, and French fried potatoes. <laughs> How do you make that yummy stock? Kelly, will you find the... If you search Mama Loves Food, um, how to make chicken stock, it'll come up, but... Basically, all you do... Thank you, Carrie Lynn. Carrie likes my blouse. Um, basically, all you do is you save your, your your bones, and then if you think about it, you can save... Gosh, this one's really sealed. Um, <laughs> I might need to call a husband in for this. Um, so you throw your bones in the stock pot, and any ends, pieces, skin, whatever you didn't get, didn't eat, cartilage... Um, and then you can throw like pieces of onion. Oh my goodness, this does not want to open. Hey Wes. I thought I got married for pickle jars, but maybe it's for stock jars. There we go. Never mind, I got it. Whew, that one didn't want to open. Okay. Never mind, I got it. I couldn't get the jar open at first. Alright, there we go. One and two. Anyway, so you throw all your bones and your bits in, and then you throw um, any vegetable ends and pieces you can find. And um, everyone's gonna tell you a different story on how long you need to let it simmer on low. I simmer mine at least overnight, always. Always, always. And depending on how much, um, you know, depending on how many bones you put in your stock pot is going to be how rich your your stock is. So I always, um, I always put as many bones as I can and I humanly fit in that stock pot. Like, it's just stuffed full of bones. So it's really, really rich stock. Warm or hot water will help loosen the seal. It was in warm water. That's why I was so surprised. It was sitting in warm water in the sink. Oh, we did it. We're good. At least we know that can doesn't have botulism. <laughs> My work husband is watching, LOL. <laughs> okay, so this is one can of Rotel. Again, we're not draining anything. We're just throwing it in. going to be a full pop. What are you cooking? Hi, Samara. We are making black bean soup and then chicken tacos as well. So we've got black beans, chicken or turkey stock or vegetable stock if you want to make it vegetarian, and rotel. And then we're going to put a few spices in. First time watching. Hi, Chrissy from Baltimore. How are you? Rotel. It's just the diced tomatoes and green chilies. A can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. Rotel is the brand, sorry. Um, and you can get the off-brand. They sell, like, Publix and Walmart and all those sell their own, their own version of it. 
Sorry, sorry. And the link, the recipes are linked in the um, description up above. Kelly, if you want to grab the links for everyone, I would really appreciate it. And then also, guys, if this looks yummy, make sure to share it to your wall. Share it to your wall. And, um, and you'll be able to see the recipes in the description really easily. All right. Nice full pop. Okay, so I've got it on. This is a kind of a crummy burner, so I've got it on high. How long? How long until you you can pull your hair back? I know it's killing me, Kelly. I went on a whole tirade about it at the beginning of the show. Um, three days. So Saturday I'll be able to wash it and then treat it like normal. So hey, Colby, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. A lot of first timers tonight. That's pretty exciting. Okay, I'm off to check the boys in bed. Night, Kristen. <coughs> okay. And then we need. So it calls for a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and an eighth teaspoon of cumin. So we're gonna double that. And we're gonna do. Half teaspoon of each of these. She's giving us Alicia, Alicia Silverstone from that. Yeah, feels a little bit like that with the hair flipping, right? <laughs> All right. Welcome to Florida, where your spices are always stuck together. Hi, Louine. Hi, Valerie. Keratin treatment. Yes, Sarah, keratin treatment. All right. There's that. So that was onion powder. Welcome to the crazy world of April. Yeah, I know. I'm not supposed to put my ears behind my ears, but it's making me crazy. April, does your stock jar seal by itself? Um, it, it's a, it's a canning jar. So I didn't do like the true sealing. I put them in the freezer. But, um, but yeah, since I did it hot, it, it will seal itself. All right. And then we need. Normally it's an eighth a teaspoon of cumin, so we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of cumin. Where is it? Was I just using the wrong one? I might have been using the wrong one. I think we got it right. I think we got it right. That looks about right. Hi Cindy, how are you? <laughs> Bye Kristen. Yeah, we used to one. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. You're pretty, too. You guys are all beautiful. Every single one of you. I'm sure you're beautiful people. I'm late tuning in. Hi, we're making black bean soup. So we just put our black beans, all our ingredients for our black bean soup. So guys, that's everything. It's all stuff that you can keep in your pantry. So you can buy chicken stock or vegetable stock. You can keep your canned beans, your canned um, tomatoes and chilies and your dried spices so and could you use yes you could use fresh spices but i like that this doesn't call for fresh fresh spices Oops, i'm just gonna grab this because i know i can always make it you know i always have these ingredients in the hi sarah probably i think we're probably gonna do like a short tc show we'll see what kelly wants to do kelly's we're kind of at the mercy of kelly because <laughs> i can't do it by myself you're always so positive thanks carrie Hi, Melissa. You're welcome. All right, so it's black beans, chicken stock, uh, rotel, which is just a can of tomatoes and chilies, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and cumin, and then we'll salt and pepper just a little bit. And I'm going to put a lid on it so it comes to, only because I've got the fan on and this is a weak burner. Normally you wouldn't need to. Do you need to rinse the black beans? No, just dump them in. I'm just grabbing a lid. For my stock, let's see if this is the right one. I think we got the right one. Ah, eh, close enough. All right, that'll help it. What do you normally serve with this? So, tacos, which is what we're going to do right now. We're going to make some chicken tacos. I'm going to scoot this out of the way. Okay. I'm at your mercy. You guys are too funny. Jeanette K. Wallace and 28 others just shared my video. Let them know I appreciate it. I appreciate it, you guys. I really, really hugely appreciate it. All right, 
So like I said, when I do it on the stove top, I do it uncovered. Because you want it to reduce down a little bit. Um, the reason I have it covered right now is because this is a weak burner and I've got a fan on overhead. So I need it to come to a low boil first and then we'll take the lid off. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on our tacos. <clears throat> Obviously my kids are asleep because it's nine o'clock at night here. So normally I would use a much bigger dish. Um, but it's just my husband and I after the show who are gonna eat this tonight. So how long does that sit? As long or as short as you want it to sit. If you want it to reduce down a lot, let it do longer. Um, Rotel is spicy only a little bit. When you when you put it with this much food, with this much liquid and beans and stuff, it really it's very, very mild. Hey Patsy, wow owls from Germany. What? I didn't understand that. But hi, glad you're here. Yes, you could totally pour the soup over white rice, would be super delicious. No, you don't have to rinse the beans. Okay. So we're gonna grab our you know what I didn't think through? I didn't think through the fact that I need this burner for the chicken. So you know what I'm gonna do? While we're cooking, yes. Oh, they do, you're right, they do. They sell it in the mild version too. I'm gonna move this onto my regular stove top so we can cook the chicken right here or heat up the chicken right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So I'm gonna scoot this to the burner. We'll bring it back um, in a few minutes. What's the hair treatment for? Hey, Doug and Kim, it's, uh, it's because my hair is frizzy, so make it less frizzy. Okay. So we've got this on the stove top over here. And this, oops. Okay, that's on the stove top, and I gotta pay attention to that. And then, hi, how come no alcohol lately? Uh, I'm doing a Whole30 would be the main reason, but also I really screwed up my stomach by taking too much Advil a few nights ago. So even though I might, I might have been cheating today, except for, if I'm pretty sure if I drink alcohol tonight, my stomach will like explode. So uh, I'm trying to take it easy on my stomach <laughs> right now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another pan for our chicken. I'm gonna grab our Cuisinart Everyday Pan. This is the smaller one. Okay, I know, we'll get back to fun drinks soon, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, and we're gonna do this. Let's bring this back front and center. I feel like I'm just not on my game tonight. Does I feel like I'm not on my game tonight? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, whatever. We're fine, we'll make it work. Make it work, it's very Tim Gunn, right? Who likes that show? What am I wearing tonight? What? Polka dots, yo. Just polka dots are the best. Okay, so you remember we made all that chicken? So we've got, this is basically just plain chicken. It's about a breast worth, maybe a breast and a half, depending on what size breast you use. June uses Rotel for casseroles. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, yeah, my herbs died again. I told you guys they wouldn't last very long. Okay, and then we're gonna throw in, I'm still here. Waving. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a cup-ish of water and a whole bunch of taco seasoning. You can totally be super mom and make your own taco seasoning if you want. Sometimes I do that. And sometimes I just cheat and buy it. Tonight we're cheating. I'm gonna throw a bunch of this in. This is why I love you. <laughs> I, can, I can't think of how that song goes, Valencia. You're gonna have to help me out. All right. I'm not super mom, definitely not. I am super mom no more than any of you are. Let me assure you that. Okay, I have a hard time keeping the Arabs alive too. I know, I do too. It is what it is, it is what it is. I've still got my green onions though. Aren't they cute? I just found that taco season at Publix. Yeah, it's great. It's like a big giant thing of it. All right, so we're gonna bring this to a, now the chicken's already cooked. Remember we cooked it last week. So all we're doing is seasoning it and bringing it up to temperature because it's still a little bit frozen. So we're gonna let this come to a simmer. If April's up for it, I'm up for it. Aw. The artist is major. All right, I'll have to look him up. 
will make me cry. Everything makes me cry. Can I just tell you, I watch, so, my cilantro always wilts and gets dark. Why? I don't know. Oh, I helped you look like Superman with the dinosaur leggings. Okay, let me grab a lid for this. Is that the right one? Oh, giant lid. And we're going to let that come up to tap. I'm going to scoot this just a touch. Hey, Rochelle, how are you? We've got black beans on the stove over there, and we are heating up our chicken for some chicken tacos right now. It's going to be kind of a short show tonight, I think, guys, because... This is a super easy recipe, like ridiculously easy. I love taco seasoning, yes! Hi Margaret, welcome, welcome, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so we've got our taco shells. I'm not gonna lie, this is the part I screw up like every time because it never fails that one of my batches, like my kids eat a lot of tacos. Like a really really lot of tacos so I usually do them in two batches so that they're hot like the you know the second round of tacos is still hot and it never fails that I forget at least one of the batches and we end up with charred tacos so PS not super mom not even a little bit I feel like I watched haven't watched a video in so long that's no good that's not good. You can always go to the archives, too, and watch us on Spaceships and Laser Beams and all those food. Thanks, guys, for being super awesome and major participants in the um, sponsored video on uh, Tuesday. We had it sponsored by Tyson. That was super fun. Somebody pointed out the other day that I say super a really, really lot. <laughs> I do. I say it a lot. Okay. So we're gonna shove our uh, taco shells in here. You wanna sh you wanna put them in so that how come no stand and stuff shells? I don't know. I don't think I've ever bought those before. That might be a good idea though. Anyway. I'm just doing the best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can put foil in too. I use a knife to open everything too when cooking. Yeah, probably will see this. Last night someone did what did somebody do last night? All right, good. So we've got our tacos in, our shells in. Let's get this out of the way. We've got our cheese out. Cheese. Don't get stummy queso. There's my queso. There's my queso. Okay. When you become a mom, your vocabulary becomes smaller. Ah! Hold on, I can hear my black beans are starting to simmer. Who just said, did somebody just say hukuna matata on there because now I've got it in my head. I'm not sure if it's me being crazy or if I, somebody actually said it. Hakuna matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna matata, ain't no best in phrase. Means no words, all the rest it is. I can be my husband's in it, that is true. It's all part of Oh, the queso is delicious. Yes. So we've just got Mexican blend shredded cheese. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cooking the meat. All right, there we go. Look at it. It's good. That's exactly what we want to do. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Did you ever think of doing your cookbooks in audio form if you've got a great voice? Aw, that's really sweet. Thanks. Do people listen to audio cookbooks? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know that was a thing. So we're going to, um, I know, I'm not supposed to be putting it behind my back. I know, I know. My kids would wake with the aromas. We have a ranch style house, so my kids' room is literally the com complete opposite end of where I am now. So, um, yeah. So we're just gonna simmer this until, oh, I didn't know what that noise was, my sink draining. Um, tacos are life, that is so true. Did your hubby love your hair when you came home? Yeah, he loves when I straighten it. He likes it too, because it forces me to wear it down, he likes it when I wear my hair down. So, if you did, I would, that's so sweet. It means no worries. So I'm just chopping it up, mostly because I feel like it, not because you have to. But you want to simmer until the um, 
basically until the, the liquid's almost completely gone. I'm not, uh, Vince's work schedule changed, I believe, right, Kelly? I think Vince said his work schedule changed, so he can't make it to the beginning of shows now. He usually pops on later, though. I feel like the only person on the planet who doesn't love tacos, well, that's just because you haven't had the right tacos yet. There's this place near us. Have you guys, do you guys have Jimmy Hula's? There's a couple of them near us, so obviously it's some kind of a chain, whether it's a big chain or a little chain, I don't know. Woo, that's a lot of steam. Um, it's so good. It's got, like, all kinds of tacos. It's got, obviously, regular Mexican-style tacos, but um, it's got, it's got, like, macaroni and cheese tacos and, you know, steak and shrimp tacos and barbecue tacos and so it's a fun place to go you're hitting a weak spot with me right now pregnant and those babies craving tacos and ice cream too funny you remember it's your home we all do that care thing thanks can i come cook with you ah okay no kelly kelly it's not normal to not like tacos <laughs> non-taco lovers uh, kelly aren't you Kelly, what is happening here? I feel like there's like a mutiny happening in the comments. Chattanooga has a place called Taco Mamacita. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, so those are all chopped up nice. BBQ tacos, oh, they're so good. It's basically the same ingredients as we put on the pizza the other night, but in a taco, oh, so good. So, oh, fish tacos, yeah, we've made fish tacos on the show before. We have totally done fish tacos on the show. All right, Kelly, I can handle that. You don't have to love them. We're just using chicken. On the show last week, we did a whole big um, protein prep show. So we pulled some of our chicken out that we made um, last week, and we're doing that. So let's chop some lettuce and tomatoes. fresh cilantro today that never happens you guys that's pretty exciting so there's our lettuce and our tomatoes and guys if you don't have the time or the interest in using is my back better it feels a lot better today yeah <coughs> excuse me um if you don't have the time or interest in doing fresh tomatoes and cilantro and stuff throw some salsa on there it's still delicious. It's still legit. So like, not a problem. These are pr I washed these already, so don't stress. Sing girls sing things. I don't know what to sing. What should I sing? Yeah, who kind of a tata stuck in my head? The problem is I don't even know the words to anything. Also, I think it's funny that you guys think I have a good voice. Cause I don't. Okay. Let's use one of our pretty bowls. Should we use a pretty bowl? Look at that pretty bowl. That's kind of big. Maybe we don't need a bowl that big. And a cutting board, which desperately needs to be oiled. Look how bad it needs to be oiled. It's all fading. My husband keeps two jars filled with salsa in the fridge. Oh, we always have salsa in our fridge. My husband um, loves, loves, loves chips and salsa. So we always have chips and salsa in the house. That is definitely a thing in this house. Okay, I think probably a smaller bowl would be better. We're not also very pretty though. Both Pioneer Woman, go figure. I love her. Oh, Valencia, you're so mean. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. See, I don't know any words to that though, except for the eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Does anybody even know words to that? What do you do with your cutting boards mine keep cracking you've got to oil them you got to oil them every if you use them a lot you got to oil them every couple weeks how do you oil a cutting board um you buy you buy food grade oil that is made for cutting boards so go on amazon and um i've got links in the description for amazon just click through those and type in cutting board cutting board blah, 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 cutting board oil and it'll come up and there's directions right on, don't use any wood, don't, don't use any wood oil. It's got to be food safe, made for cutting boards. Um, but yeah, you got it. You definitely have to oil it regularly. It's not expensive. It's not a big deal. And a bottle of oil lasts a long time. Um, so 
Yeah. And then you just rub it on. Let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. And then wipe off the excess with a dry cloth. And it'll be good. And I'll make it nice and deep and dark looking again. All right, we're going to lower the heat on this. Because we're... Oh, it looks yummy. Hi, Margaret from Missouri. How are you? Please, no worries. All the rest of the things. It's a... All right, we're going to lower that. We're going to keep cutting our tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. So what do you guys like on your on your tacos? I am definitely, like, I like everything on my tacos. I like... Tomatoes, lettuce, uh, green onion, olives, all of it. The best. I'm actually going to make myself a taco salad since I'm not eating the greens right now. Um, shout out to Claire. Hi, Claire. Hi, Suzanne. How are you, ladies? Sour cream for Kelsey. Yep, sour cream, cheese, all of it. Just keep stuffing stuff in it. I'm happy. The only thing I don't like, thank you, Nancy. Where we heart tacos, yes. Um, the only thing I don't really care for is I don't care for jalapenos on my tacos, which I know is funny. Can I eat, come eat with you? I can eat them 24 to seven. Everything, oh, avocados, yes. Oh, I don't have any avocados. That's disappointing. Hi from Missouri, waiting on an ice storm. Be careful, be careful. It could be worse, you could be. Oh, thanks Virginia. Oh, it's a world of laughter, a world of fun. It's a world of fun for everyone. Da -da 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 it's a small world after all. <laughs> Lindsay, I know. I'm only know. I only know the songs you're mentioning about fifty percent of the time. I am not with it. If it happened in the last decade, your odds are not great of me knowing it. <laughs> Hi from Vancouver. How are you? Tannis, hi. Yeah, no jalapenos for you either? All right. At least, at least I'm not alone in my anti-jalapeno. And I make really good pickled jalapenos, but I don't like them on my tacos. I just don't. That's a thing. All right, our chicken is done -zo. So I'm going to show you. You remember how much liquid we had in it before? There's basically no liquid now, and the tacos are, or the chicken is super well seasoned. So we're going to... Turn the heat off on that. We've got our tomatoes. Let's go ahead and stuff these tacos because we can finish with the veggies after the tacos are cooked. Hi from Macedonia. Hi, Vesna. Hi, Lori. Hi, Tannis. Hot sauce. Oh, yeah. See, I like the, um, oh, my goodness. Heather, you guys are cool. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. I'm losing my voice today. Some people started singing it, not knowing when it ends. And wait, and they'll keep continue singing it forever just because this is a song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was, and they'll continue singing it forever just because this is a song. I'm gonna stop it right there, but you get the idea. Thanks, Heather, for that. <laughs> Alright, so all I'm doing is shoving chicken in my tacos. Is that LuLaRoe top? The top is not LuLaRoe. The top is Old Navy. And the bottoms are LuLaRoe. What? It is Old Navy a long time ago, though. Not recently. Yeah, I've got this, like, it's not really a cold. It was a cold last week, but it's, like, lingering in my voice, weirdly. <laughs> Tammy says the song is going to be stuck in her head. It's an earworm for sure. I never did chicken. I always did beef. Yeah, chicken's good. You got to mix it up a little. And sometimes you can do talk, uh, shrimp is good. Shrimp is super yummy. Obviously, when you do shrimp, you're going to want to reduce the sauce first. So put your spices in and your um, water or stock, whatever you're using, and reduce that first until it's just a slurry and then throw your shrimp in at the last second because shrimp cooks in about three to five minutes. So you don't want to overdo it. 
Okay, so our tacos are full of chicken now, right? And then we're going to take our, um, don't need to bake. We're gonna throw it all in the oven, that's what we're gonna do. This. this is how I make tacos for my giant family. Usually, obviously, I make more than the small tray of tacos. <laughs> All right. This is, oh my goodness, Heather, how could you do that to me? This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is a song that doesn't end. Do I still have Wham stuck in your head? Which one was the Wham song? I got the This is the song that doesn't end stuck in my head. Alright, so we're going to stick it in the oven, 350, 375. Either one doesn't matter. Just pay attention so you don't burn it. And we're going to throw them in and let them get crispy and let the cheese melt. Ooh, I'm going to set the timer for five minutes and then we'll check on those. And in the meantime, I'm going to bring back over, I saved a little bit of chicken in here for myself because I'm making a chicken a taco, chicken taco salad. Um, and then let's turn this burner back up and we're going to bring our black bean soup back over. So our black bean soup has been simmering over here. We saw me put it together. You saw me put it together. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Summer, summer, baby. Leave me hang. <laughs> Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on a light. How does it go, though? Don't leave me hanging something like a yo-yo. Black bean soup. Do we have angry faces? That's all right. Angry faces mean they're watching. Throw bacon on it and you have the perfect storm. Mmm, bacon's yummy. Okay, so in the black bean soup, we've got black beans, nothing's rinsed or drained. Black beans, <laughs> black beans, chicken or vegetable stock, uh, rotel, which is just uh, tomatoes and chilies, and hang on, I don't have the tempo down right. Don't leave me hanging solo like a yo-yo. Is it that? Uh, anyway, and then cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to grab my immersion blender. We've let it reduce a little bit, and then I'm going to grab... Um, I'm going to grab... I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I don't know. I'm going to grab my immersion blender. Heather, my gal pal Heather's on. Heather um, is another super awesome vlogger. Do you guys watch her? She was on right before me cooking her dinner. Did you guys watch Heather cook her dinner? Uh, Heather's from Passion for Savings, super awesome savings vlog. She could definitely teach me a trick or two because I am not good at the couponing thing at all. Is not a strong point. You should change the name to Karaoke Kitchen, right? No joke. <laughs> the what blender? The Immersion Blender. So this is a super awesome blender. It's got cheese stuck to it. Um, it goes where I go. Just don't stick your finger in it when it's on or plugged in or just have it ever. Because can I just tell you how many people tell me, oh, I had one until I stuck my finger in it and cut the tip off. And that's disgusting and nobody should do that. Just don't go near the blade, please. And the trick to washing these so you don't have to go near the blade ever is just rinse it as soon as you use it. Right after you use it, give it a good rinse. Um, wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Wake me up <laughs> before you go, go. Don't leave me dancing tonight. Okay, got it, got it, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so we're not gonna, well, it's totally, sorry, my eyelash in my eye. Now I can't see you at all. Um, it's totally up to you how you like your black bean soup. I don't like mine totally blended. Um, I like it, I like it just like partially blended. So I'm gonna do it about 50% or so. If you like a smooth black bean soup, by all means, just 
keep blending, keep blending, but I'm not going to. Sarah got her finger caught it in in October. Oh, ah! See? Never touch the blender. Never touch, I, Sarah's a chef. She knows better. Sarah. <laughs> All right, and so just check it after giving it a few, and you could throw it in your, um, you could totally throw it in your upright if you wanted. So just check the consistency and see if it's what you like. My kid would be so awake. <laughs> All right. All right, that's about how I like it. Random, where did you get your compost bucket by the kitchen sink? Not random at all. You get that question a lot. Uh, I got it at Old Time Pottery, but I'm pretty sure if you guys don't have an Old Time Pottery near you, they have a similar one at Ikea. For about three times what I paid for mine, but you know, I love me some Ikea. All right, see how I just did? I just rinsed it right away so I don't have to worry about black beans getting stuck in it. <gasps> that's our Taco Bell. Oh, did you hear that? That was so funny. I just said that's our Taco Bell. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Heather, it's from Old Time Pottery, but I'm pretty sure you can get a similar one at Ikea. Okay, let's check our tacos, see how we're doing. Ooh, they're getting toasty. All right, I'm gonna give them like two more minutes. Because I like my shells a little bit browned, and I think a lot of people probably do too. All right, the heat's off on that. It's just doing its last little bit of simmer. Hard Taco Bell. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, let's bring this over. We've got our, what's in our tacos? Right now, it's just chicken, it's seasoned chicken, taco seasoned chicken, and um, cheese. And now we're getting the toppings ready right now. So, normally I would not use this itty bitty knife for this, but it's already out and I don't want to dirty another knife, so. Dad jokes, that was a total dad joke. <laughs> Definitely something my dad would have joked. So. All right, I totally forgot about the oven. Like, I see, I know, that happens, right? That's why you need an oven timer, super important. Okay. We've got some lettuce for the tacos, taco alarm. But that's not funny, that's what it is, but Taco Bell, <laughs> crack myself up, man. Crack myself up, go away, haters. Do we have haters tonight? You guys, it could very well be some poor, exhausted mom who wants to watch the show and she's got a kid in her lap who says, let me hold the phone, Mom, let me hold the phone. And he's just punching away at the button. So we're going to give a little bit of grace, and we're going to say whoever is holding the phone and pushing the buttons, you go and have fun with that. Go on with your bad self. I can't believe they're already canceling school for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's like 80 here, so there's none of that. Um, I'm, I'm doing more lettuce than I would normally do for tacos because I'm actually going to do a salad for mine. There's our tacos, there's our tacos, woohoo! Alright, let's grab those. Let's get the oven mitts first so we don't burn our hands. Tasty hot meat and cheese. The the shells are getting crisp. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then what we do is we just put one on each person's plate and they get to fill it with whatever they want, which is super exciting. So I've got my lettuce here. I'm gonna do a little bit more because like I said, I'm gonna do a salad for mine. Yes, Lori! Kelsey found my oven mitt. She found all the things in my kitchen that I've been looking for for ages. <laughs> 
11 months till Christmas. Yeah, so we should start practicing, right? Only one, only one what? Only one what? Stingy. One at a time. I, were you not here at the beginning when I explained that I put a second tray in the oven so that seconds are hot and not cold and stale? I win super mom, super mom on taco nights. That's about the only time I ever win super mom is taco nights. <laughs> April is a cook I watch all the time and I don't forget when she's on. Aw, thanks Carrie. Guys, if you are enjoying the show, um, if you're enjoying the show, please, uh, and you want to know when it's on every time it's on, go ahead and sign up for our text message alerts. We send a text message at the beginning of each show to let you know we're on and you're going to text Kelly. will put, put it up, um, in the comments so you guys can see, but it's, you're going to text follow space live show MLF, like mama loves food live show MLF is one word. So follow space live show MLF text that to 40404 all together 40404 and um, let's do a little bit of cilantro and you will receive text messages whenever we are going live I am in need of a homemade cake recipe Ooh, hashtag not a baker not a baker I am all about jazzing up cake mix recipes uh, like box cake mix. Happy to help you jazz one of those up. Substitute your water for cream. Add an extra egg. Switch oil for butter. Beat it instead of mixing it. Went out for drinks. I had people watching the show. Oh my goodness, Sue, you're so funny. That's so sweet. Um, can I post it? Kelly's going to post it. Kelly's going to post it for us. Um, yeah. What was I saying? Add some cocoa if you want it to be cocoa flavor. Add some coffee if you want it to be mocha. What is the temp there in the 70s in Sheridan? Uh, I think it was like low 80s today, high 70s maybe. Hey Brittany, how are you? Coca-Cola cake is super easy, there you go. I am not in Sheridan, I am in, uh, I'm just north of Orlando, Florida. Mm. Okay, raise your hand, are you a cilantro lover or hater? Tell me, tell me, I wanna know. I want to know if she really loves me. Say a prayer with every heartbeat. I want to know. I don't know how that goes. All right, we're going to get the ones that are super stuffed for hubby. Ooh we're going to do some... What should we do first? Let's do lettuce first. Lettuce. I love that you're here, Becky. Tomato. Record 65 degrees in Pennsylvania. All right, tomato, and he likes sour cream. Oh, and a little bit of cilantro, a little cilantro. Never tried it. What? It's delicious, so good. Lettuce. Tomato. Oh yeah, and a little bit of cilantro. That was a lot of cilantro. Let's go with a little bit of cilantro. I smell my hands over and over until the scent is gone. I do the same thing. I love the way it smells. Okay. So there's our two tacos, and I'll put some sour cream on the side so you can, like, do it how you want. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. I'm such a nice wife. Aren't I the nicest wife? What is that about? No, I don't normally plate my husband's food, but I'm doing it because you're here. <laughs> I love a little. Have you ever made a taco oven bake? Hate it, can't help it. It's all right, it's all right. You don't have to like it. All right, there's some sour cream. And let's do a bowl of, you should sing every ingredient opera style. Anthony, I don't need to scare everybody away, but thanks. Okay, and then we're gonna do some soup. Soup, soup. Soup, soup. We'll do a cute little bowl. Watch out, puppy. I'm doing wonderful. I'll be 30 weeks tomorrow. 34 weeks tomorrow. Yay! 
That's so exciting. Congratulations. Okay, so this is our black bean soup. So yummy. And I like to put a little bit of, see this plate that's happening here? Let's do a little bit of green onion. And cheese, where's our cheese? Cheese first. The kid must have, oh. <laughs> It could just be somebody who's having a bad day too. You know, it happens. I'm not gonna worry about it. You all are here being awesome. What kind of tacos? We made chicken tacos tonight. So we're gonna just do some green onion here. Again, if you don't wanna do the fresh stuff, grab a can of salsa and throw it in. Not a big deal. Doesn't have to be fancy. Look at that. Oh! Did you hear the angels singing? I just heard that. I totally heard that. There's cheese in my sour cream. Get out of here, cheese. Okay, you wanna see it? You wanna see it? You wanna see it? It's so pretty. Look, look, look at our finished plate. <gasps> so yummy, so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna let that cool off just a touch because it is very hot. Actually, hey Wes, you wanna come grab your taco? I'm gonna make myself my salad. So we got this. We've got our chicken that I saved for myself. What? <clears throat> Those of you who are strict gluten-free, make sure to check um, the ingredient list. You can walk behind and get it. Come on, show them your awesome shirt. It's fabulous, isn't it? Show them your shirt. What is that? Two shows in a row. He's wearing Disney shirts. <laughs> no mermaid tonight. No mermaid. Help yourself to more if you want. Your tacos. Okay. And if you want more, you're welcome to. That's really hot. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. That's chicken, cheese, lettuce, tomato, cilantro, and then sour cream. Do you want more? Or is that good for now? Oops. I'll take one more. Okay. All right. So. Hi. Cheers, by the way. Thanks for being here. Did you want more stuff for it? No. It's good. Oh, Thank right. you. Okay. I'm making my, now we're making mine. We're making mine. Throw all this yummy tomato on it. Doesn't he have Valencia? He's a good looking guy. Alright. Throw our tomato. A little bit of cilantro on top. What is happening? Okay. Look at that salad, is that not gorgeous? Normally I would throw avocado on it, but um, the avocado at the market the other day was way overripe, so we're gonna skip that. I'm gonna throw a little bit of, um, probably throw a little ranch dressing on it or something, which is a little bit of a cheat for me, but that's okay. Everything in moderation, right? And then I'm gonna make myself a nice big bowl, mmm, <laughs> tacos. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a nice big bowl of soup because I love this stuff. Since I missed the whole thing, is that part of the pre-cooked sponsored chicken? No, this is the chicken that we made, although that would have worked too. That would have worked just fine. Um, this is the chicken that we made on the night that we made like 14,000 proteins. I pulled one of the containers out of the freezer. Okay, this is a little bit of a cheat too because I'm not really supposed to eat beans. I figure it's not terrible, right? I'm gonna nervous. Okay, so let me let that cool for a second and I'll take a bite. Tonight's like a mini cheat night for me. Next time, keep some black beans to add to the salad. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Are you achieving? Nobody tell my doctor. He's so tall. My whole husband was like, well, I'm really short too. I'm five two and he's six foot. So <laughs> he reminds me of my husband. I'm five two and he's six five. Oh my gosh, he's even taller. He's a foot taller. All right. <clears throat> Where's my spoon? What's for dessert? No dessert tonight. We're not cheating that much. Okay, April. My wife just commented that she loves the bowls. 
Um, this is from Walmart. It's part of the Pioneer Woman line. We love some Pioneer Woman. I love me some Pioneer Woman. She's amazing. Alright. I'm so afraid I'm going to burn my mouth. I'm 5'7 and my hubby is 6'5. Wow. You guys, so good, so good. Hey, Darla, glad you're here. Mmm, mmm, so good. Even if you don't like black beans, guys, I urge you to try this. <clears throat> it's got a mild spice, not super strong, a little bit of spice. It's good, it's so good, it's so good. Yummy, 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 yummy. I love this soup. It's so good. All right. Ooh, I should have thrown some tomatoes in it. That would be good too. A couple tomatoes. <laughs> Vince is three two, <laughs> three two, eh? And then here's our salad. Let's grab some dressing out. Hi, Darla. We made black bean soup, um, tacos for a crowd, and taco salad. Excuse me. I'm looking for my ranch dressing. Might be out of it. Did we use it all on the show the other day? My invisible boyfriend is 6'2". I'm 5'4", my husband that watches the 6'1". Very nice. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna grab... Don't tell anyone that I'm cheating and I keep ranch dressing in my cabinet. Okay. You guys know how I feel about bottled ranch dressing. It is, like, not my favorite at all. But if I have to use bottled ranch dressing, I do like Ken's. And I like bottled ranch dressing as, like, an ingredient to things, but not as a dip. So it'll be okay on us. We'll just do this a little bit. I did use it all. That's all right. That's all right. We always have an emergency bottle in the pantry in case we run out of the good stuff. All right, let's try this out. Cheers. So good. So good, so good. Low carb, grain free for those who need it. If I wanted to be super strict, I would just make a dressing out of avocado and some seasoning, wor it up really well. A little bit of um, avocado, water, and basically ranch dressing spices very yummy you could do that um yeah so that's it tonight guys what are you gonna make for next taco tuesday right right am i right so good anyway um now i want to make a salad at 10 30 at night hi angie i love that you're here thank you okay i'm gonna close up shop and you guys want a legging show i'm so tired i don't know but we've got it all set up. It seems silly not to. Did you crunch up a taco shell? No, because I'm trying to avoid grains, so. No chicken. There's chicken in there. Oh, yeah, there's lots of chicken in there. Look at that. It's full of chicken. Full of chicken. Are you guys going to kill me if I take the night off from leggings? I think I'm going to take the night off, guys. I think my back needs a break. So, let's say goodnight. Don't hate me for not doing a legging show tonight. I'm sorry. Maybe tomorrow. Um, is that okay? I think tomorrow. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. Um, anyway, so, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I had a great night with you guys tonight. You won't kill me. Good. Valencia's not going to kill me. She's not going to send the dogs after me. Um, 
have a wonderful night, guys. I really enjoy hanging out with you. I, um, I love making food with you. I just do. I think you're wonderful. If you like the show and you want to watch every time we're on, make sure to get our text message alerts. Kelly can put a reminder in the comments on how to do that. You're going to text follow space mama love uh live sorry i'm giving you the wrong one follow space live show mlf that part is one word to 40404 and kelly will put it up and if you want to join our leggings group our lularoe group it's not just leggings it's leggings and shirts and dresses and skirts and all kinds of fun stuff um if you want to join that group please do go over there and join it and um we'll have another sale soon we do three or three to five a week so um yeah, no shortage of shows for sure. So anyway, have a wonderful night, guys. Thank you so much.